Hey guys, welcome to my channel Music and Tech again. This is Kevin. Today we're going to talk about um, recording an audio track. So it's a part one of the two part series. So today we're going to talk about recording on audio. And then the following part, we're going to discuss about recording as a MIDI track. So we're going to discuss what's the advantage and disadvantage of each. So for today, let's talk about audio tracks. So if you've seen my screen, I have my Ableton on or opened. So you have to go first to your preferences. I'm using a Scarlett uh, 2i2 audio interface. It's a third generation. So you have to make sure that you have selected your audio input device. So you would see I have only two channels, two inputs, sorry. So I have both of them switched on. And then if you want to record multiple tracks at the same time, you have to go to your record warp launch and then make sure that both arm and solo buttons are disabled. So this is my voice here. So I'm going to record actually here. So you would see it's an auto, it's an audio track, and then record arm button is switched on. But today I'm going to record only my piano. So I'm going to insert an audio track, arm the record button, put this to auto, and then my piano is connected to, um, so it's um, from my Roland Digital Piano, it's connected via a one fourth inch cable, and then it will go into the input two of my audio interface so I have to change this to input 2 then let's try so my gain for the input 2 is somewhere around I think 25% only and it's quite loud already make sure that your volume of your digital piano is set to max then you just adjust your gain on your audio interface and then before that, you have to set the beats per minute, minute of your song so or your metronome so that when you play, then it's on the correct timing. That's the thing about audio interface. I audio recording. And then, okay, this one is switched on also. And then let's try to record. So make sure that when you record, you follow the metronome. That's very important. And then, so if you will hear the audio. So don't mind this other sound that you're hearing from the background. It's it's my microphone picking up the the playing that I'm doing on my keyboards. Um, so again, this one you can uh, you can still further improve by adding your audio effects, and then that's it. So what's the advantage of recording your um, audio or music as an audio track okay um 
okay the, the track of course it contains the analog sound and um, it is just converted by Ableton from analog into a digital sound okay and then um, it is almost uh, usually you can crop compress it into different types of format like mp3 mp4 and then the actual benefit is that if you're going to play because you're playing it uh, following your metronome so those uh, miscues will be captured or any like soft touches that you do on your digital piano it will be captured by the recording so in other words it sounds more humanistic because um, it gives the impression that um, from the listener that okay this one is recorded by a person and not uh, recorded by a machine and then um, if you're going to use of course a a piano if you have a high-end piano then it would capture the beautiful sound that it generates yeah so that's the advantage of um, using re or recording using your analog um, as an analog or an audio track but okay the thing is if you're going to record as an audio track the drawbacks are for example you I recorded this uh, audio on a key of B so for example if I'm going to adjust it to the key of C I mean you can do that but somehow the the transposition somehow can cause changes in the tempo or the sound it okay it goes to a higher key for example if I change it to C but it doesn't sound as the same you know some 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 change happens so let's try that so for example this is on the key of B I try to transpose it to key of C so that will be a half step I just increase it by one step and then you can hear So it, uh, in terms of tempo, it's something changes in the audio, so it's very difficult. The only, okay, it's harder to, for example, if you're going to edit parts of the note. So if there's a miscue, you're not following the tempo, then it's harder to adjust. Although you can do that manually by expanding your sorry if you're going to expand your your zoom in if you're going to zoom in into this thing you can cut and paste and adjust it you know you can do that also but in the end it's quite difficult to do that so it's it will be a lot of work and then yeah it's imp almost impossible to remove or separate individual tracks once mixed down yeah, so if you are, for, for example, if you're going to record into all audio in, audio sounds or audio inputs into one track, then you cannot, for example, audit or edit those. So if, for example, I played uh, the keys and the guitar in one track, it's quite difficult to, or it's impossible to adjust that. Yeah. And then of course if you are playing in a room the sound the, the room the noises created by inside the room can be captured also so that's the difficulty of um, recording as an audio track but of course there are some things that you cannot really like avoid um, there are some um, plugins for example guitar you can use that to create a MIDI track and um, if for voice of course you cannot change that uh, it's always an, an or an audio sound 
So you cannot do anything with that. So you just need to.、Uh, it depends on the person how good or how well the person can sing. So, yeah, that's the、uh, advantage and disadvantage of recording an audio track. So, yeah, so I think that's it for me. I, you can still adjust this actually.、Um, like, for example, if you want to. Lower the、um, the volume of this track. You can just adjust here or you can increase it here. Yeah, you can say get it back to transpose to zero so that it goes back to the original set setting. And then if you would see, okay. Looks like this one started in the correct position, so you don't need to adjust that. Yeah, it's in the right positions.、Mm. But yeah, and other than that, the only things that you can adjust is by adding your audio effects. Yeah, so I think that's it for this video today. I hope you learned something. And、um, if you like the video, please click like. Support my channel and then click subscribe if you want to see further or more videos from my channel. So that's it for today. Have a good day and bye.